going to mirror how much or how hard we're working at this? Like, is that ever going to change? And I'm just like, feel like a hamster on a wheel or something. Like we're just getting the same result every single time. It's like the same cycle. Okay, um, it's been a while since I've done like a makeup video on my channel. Um, about me talking about random stuff. Since it's been a week since I've uploaded, I'm gonna do another one of these. And I actually went hiking with my friend yesterday with Nick. And we were talking about a couple of different things that I could speak on. So one of the topics was going through life, being a pushover, kind of just being a magnet for people that like to take advantage of people that are pushovers, I guess. I don't even know if there's a better word for a pushover. Or I was gonna talk about the differences in pay um, between beauty influencers, more specifically white beauty influencers versus black beauty influencers. In general, like, what pertains to like the hair market and like how we get treated as far as us promoting the hair from different companies and different places and stuff. Um, and like other people kind of diving into the hair market and probably getting paid more than black women are, even though like we are kind of the pioneers as far as tutorials on YouTube. So I wanna talk about that, I guess. Maybe I'll talk about that today. Yeah, okay, so I don't know how true this pay gap is, but the other day I was looking on Twitter and someone had posted this like screenshot or this like, um, this photo of like the pay gap between white beauty influencers and black beauty influencers. And I think I've heard other people talk about this and everything. So we're gonna get into that for today and um, just, just talk about it to see if I can use um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation because I haven't used this in a really long time and I don't remember if this is too dark for me actually. If it is, I will have to use something else. But I know like this stays in place like all day for me. So I really hope that I, okay, it's not. Yeah, this is actually pretty close to my skin tone. I did stay out in the sun recently though. So that could also be a factor, but yeah, anyways, um, so I saw the differences as, as far as like how people are being paid. So I've done a few collaborations with brands where I've just done stuff for free because I just want the product or I need the product and I don't really feel like I need to get paid for it because it's not like a full on dedicated video or maybe I just want clothes from a brand so I just do it for free. But I also, sometimes, it just depends. Like I don't always do this for the most part. I don't, I don't do things for free. It just depends on if they're offering resources that I can use for like, for my content, for future content, or if they're offering like PR or something. Um, and also if the demands aren't really high, I really hate when companies try to demand things and like, it's not really worth it if I'm not gonna get paid for it. Um, the sad part is, is that I don't know how many people do this. If you're purposefully scouting out influencers or you're scouting out. Okay, so my dad called me. I forgot what I was talking about. Here's my theory. Obviously, and it makes sense. They probably just end up scouting out people and then giving a list as far as, I guess, numbers and how much they want to pay each influencer and how that kind of goes. But the thing is, I, I'm pretty sure it's more than just about the pay. It's about like who they feel like can promote their product the best. And a lot of the times, even in like in this industry in general, even in Hollywood, if they feel like someone can't promote their product accordingly, they're probably gonna drop them or they're not going to pay them as much as, as someone else. But yeah, you guys kind of get the gist of it. Someone that's, that they feel like could promote their product the best. And um, as far as someone like me, I'm not really sure. It's not common, but I know that there have been companies that have upright paid me the amount that I should be paid. It's really hard to tell because for me, numbers are just so skewed as far as how much I feel like I should be paid just because of my history. And if I talk to someone else that was a beauty influencer that was white, which I don't, I don't really know too many, honestly, or I'm not really close with that many. So I don't really, I've never had the same deal as someone else that I've been close to that has been white and a beauty influencer. So I don't really know. Like my friend Nick, for example, he's gotten me deals with um, companies that he's gotten, but like he's not a beauty influencer. So I can't really, I can't really say. Um, I do know that a lot of people don't talk about how much they get paid, um, but it comes out every once in a while and you hear about it. You kind of see someone else that has the same amount of numbers, the same views, the same poll, and they don't get the same amount of money, you know, being paid to them, which is kind of weird to me. And they're like a black influencer or something. Like I forgot. So I think that this one says, I don't really know how accurate this is, but for me, I've already known this. So even if this is wrong, 
it's not to say that it doesn't happen. So let me just look at the thread and see the people that are commenting. It says on average, white influencers receive $4,000 on average per sponsorship and black influencers receive $478 on average per sponsorship. That is a huge gap, you guys. Um, and I don't really know number-wise how that goes, but just the fact that that's even there is really, really big to me. And then someone says, well, since black people are the minority, wouldn't that play into it? And I'm gonna say, no, absolutely not. Just because we are a minority does not mean that um, we should get paid less. That makes absolutely no sense. If you're a beauty influencer, you're a beauty influencer. If you have the same amount of numbers as like a white person, but you're a minority and you get the same poll as a white person and you're still a minority, that shouldn't change like how much you're getting paid for anything just because of that fact. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, reading through the comments, um, a lot of people are right. I feel like we definitely do have to work twice as hard or we have to be in drama just to be able to like excel. Well, actually no. When we're in drama, we get shamed for it. When white influencers or other influencers get in drama, they don't really get shamed for it that much. It's like, it's almost like a boost for them. I personally would like to stay out of drama. I don't think that's gonna work for me ever in life. Yeah, it's just interesting how that goes, right? Like if you think about it. For some people, it just boosts their career. But for us, I feel like people will see us as difficult to work with. And I personally don't wanna ever have to be in that position where people think I'm difficult to work with. Cause I'm definitely not at all by any means. But just imagine if you're just put in something that you don't wanna be in and people label you as that, you know what I mean? Like that's all that they see. That stuff definitely happens behind the scenes and it's so funny. I was gonna, one of these days, I wanna make a video with my friend Nick and we're gonna talk about it and stuff. Cause I think it's just an interesting topic. Oh, I feel like I look crazy right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Iman powder. I don't know, I feel like I should do a different eye look today, but usually when I'm talking about stuff, I don't really, deviate that much. I'll probably use the Pat McGrath palette again. I don't know. Like sometimes I just wonder why like, um, cause there's been like brands that I've definitely worked with before where, or that I haven't worked with, I'm sorry, that I've said no to because I know for a fact, like they work with people that I know or that I watch and I know that they offer them money, but then when it comes to me, they don't want to offer me money. And we have like the same amount of followers, the same views, like not always the same views, but it's just interesting how they don't want to like pay up. And I could be doing really well that month or like that week when it comes to my views and stuff and still it doesn't even matter. Or like, it's also interesting thinking like, okay, the more that I grow, the more that, the less I'm gonna be offered, you know, free deals or something. It's not even a deal, just like free um, promotion or promoted posts, you know what I mean? But that doesn't happen. Like sometimes the more that I grow, it just doesn't change. I feel like the damage has already been done because it's been happening like for so many years as far as black beauty influencers go and how how much we just, or how little we get paid that we don't know our worth anymore. We don't know how much we should be getting paid. And even if people tell us that at this point, we're still already kind of stuck in that cycle. And that kind of scares me for the future. Like I don't ever want to think that way. Like what if I still wasn't with an agency? Like they wouldn't be able to tell me how other people are getting paid or it wouldn't be as fair. And I'm thinking about other people that don't have that at the moment and what they're having to go through. I think what we can do now is kind of just um, coach each other and like let each other know like, hey, um, here's some insight on like who's getting paid this. Like I just heard this. This is what you should be getting too, just FYI. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that brands are going to start realizing that we are talking to each other and we're not oblivious to what's going on. Um, so I hope that they realize that for the future, I really do. I hope that they don't also label us as like being difficult because we're just trying to get paid fairly. Yeah, it's just something to think about. I really, really want to see us win more. Um, as far as like other races go, I think, I'm not really sure how other races get paid, but I do know that we're usually at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to that. So um, if you guys are a different race and you are doing the same job as me or you um, wanna give your input, just give your input. Like, let me know if you feel the same way. Cause I don't really know what other people are going through when it comes to that. And so I'm just curious. I will say though, I um, definitely, I don't, especially as of recently, I think it's just the whole thing that we're in right now. I'm not gonna say the word, but I don't really work as hard as I did before. I'm, trying to build my way back up to that. I don't really feel as motivated as before, which is why I probably upload a little bit less um, frequently. I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, sometimes I'm just not feeling up to filming. 
Um, sometimes I just don't even know what to talk about. And like my friend made a really good point the other day and he was just trying to say like, well, you have to choose between your integrity and stuff that you should talk about on your channel sometimes because you can literally talk about anything, but the stuff that we choose to talk about is purposeful, obviously. Like we don't want to talk about drama or stuff that's too many things that's going on in our lives where it's like too much information. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Like that's not what I want to do on my channel at, at all. Yeah, I don't want to put too much um, information out there that I feel like you guys don't really need to know. Like I feel like there should be certain things that you don't have to talk about all the time. Um, Everyone's different, of course, but like I personally don't want to put everything out there and I've done that before and it's just like people still put their two cents in and it doesn't do me any justice. So I just feel like I don't always need to say everything on here. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips now. Wait, I didn't even finish my eyes. <laughs> oh no, it kind of, um, this whole thing kind of sometimes makes me a little bit discouraged to keep going, even though I know it's like worth it. I don't want to give up or anything. It's just like, I do get discouraged about it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna use gloss for today. I have the Pat McGrath Flesh 4. And I'm gonna just do my eyes right now because I kind of look a bit scary. I look like a naked mole rat or something without my eyes being done. Yeah, it's gonna be an accent color because I just like how black liner looks on me the best. Okay. I didn't realize I wasn't filming, but like I'm putting on blush now. I was just not liking my face for a second. I just wanted to like add a couple little lines here. Yeah, it's like, it's like I know I have a um, mascara in here. Is our pay ever going to mirror how much or how hard we're working at this? Like, is that ever going to change? And I'm just like, feel like a hamster on a wheel or something. Like we're just getting the same result every single time. It's like the same cycle. I don't think I really touched on too much of what I wanted to as far as like the the pay gap between um, like white and black beauty influencers. But I do want to kind of go into really quick about like the whole wig thing. I obviously still love making wig videos and I still work with certain companies. I kind of work with the same ones these days. Like I've there's plenty of companies now where I've worked with them before and I work with them again. And they've been paying me pretty fairly and stuff. Um, but there still have been a lot of them recently who want to only um, give me free product. And then when I end up selling wigs, like, or you guys end up buying the wigs and stuff, it's like kind of like a slap in the face for me. And the video is up permanently. And like, so for the future, you know, people could watch my videos and buy a wig from, from that video and then like you would have already made profit for me and I, you didn't pay me anything. Um, which is why I don't make free hair videos, by the way, because I know I'm gonna probably sell one of them. Um, I know I have in the past, like a long, long time ago whenever I first started doing YouTube videos, but never again, because if I sell one, that's money that I've missed out on. And the thing is, it's like, you know, how are you a hair business, right? And then, you're using our photos. Like I've, I've been on so many websites for hair companies that they didn't even ask me to be on. And like, I'm just, my face is just kind of on there. I can't really um, control that or whatever. Like that's hard to control. So I get that. I mean, I don't really get it, but I, it happens all the time. I know like they're also starting to like sponsor other people and I, other people that aren't black. And the thing is, I, if they start doing that more often, which they probably already have, I really hope that they're not paying them more. If you pay other races more and they're doing these hair videos more than black women who have started the trend, who have started all the tutorials, who have the skills, like who have literally started everything, I'm gonna be so mad if I find out. Like I'm gonna be so upset. I feel like there's been like one hair company that's already kind of done that with Nikita Dragon and stuff that I've heard of or whatever. And I know that they paid her a bunch of money for that, but like, it was just kind of weird. Um, just like, it's not to say that wigs are exclusively for black women, like that is not even the case. But, but when I see other races using the exact same like methods that we're using, and I know that it's a sponsored video, I have to wonder if we're being paid the same amount of money. And I forget about it eventually, but it always crosses my mind. And it's like, I'm not really at fault for thinking that way necessarily. At least I hope I'm not at fault for thinking that way. Okay, so I finished doing my makeup and everything. Um, 
it looks kind of the same as usual except I did a gloss today and I did like kind of like a red line right here. But that's it for the video. I hope that I touched on everything. I don't think I got into that much detail. Probably not gonna be a long video, but I need to like honestly start writing stuff down as far as what I really wanna talk about. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hopefully we can open up the discussion more in the comments because I didn't really touch on this too much. I just kind of gave my thoughts and how I felt and my experience in that. I don't wanna ever go into a thing where I'm like talking about a specific company because I just, it really sucks because I wouldn't want to turn brands off either for my channel and that kind of is that probably is most people which is why we're afraid to kind of speak out about this type of stuff but like in a general sense I will speak about it definitely um so yeah let me know what you think down below and uh yeah that's it for this video talk to you guys later and bye